Ghost jumping was actually discovered by Seth, who has a lot of knowledge of ghost interactions. You can find the link of Seth's YouTube channel in the description of this video. And I wouldn't even investigate ghost interactions if I never talked to him. I'm just trying to make it more viable for the actual gameplay. In these combos, I also use Fatigue Wall Bouncing. If you don't know what Fatigue Wall Bouncing is, JD Yggdrasil and Triri have very good tutorials, which I dropped the links in the description. So, what is Ghost Jumping? When we're already in the zipline's hitbox, which means we can interact the zipline already, um, we look away from the zipline and all the way down or all the way up. But, as you can see, right now, without jumping, without going into air, we cannot see the interact prompt. We cannot see the interact prompt when we look up also. But if we jump, which means going into air, we can see the interact prompt. And we can interact the zipline. But, it's not limited to... Uh, jumping off a ground um, It actually just requires to be in the air jumping off uh, The ground is just like one of the things that makes you go into air so You can just go into air by like this by uh, walking off a ledge or maybe just Just wall jump You know but the actual use of this is after zipline dancing. In order to ghost jump uh, from the ground, we have to first jump and then interact and then jump again. But these inputs have to be very fast. So I'm going to do mouse side button, which is jump and then interact and then jump again. Okay. For mouse and keyboard players, it's so much easier to do because of the scroll wheel. Uh, we simply just have to do hold interact and just scroll jump at the same time. Just like this. When you want to do ghost jump after zipline dancing, you simply just have to do interact jump by looking all the way down or all the way up when you come to this spot. So look down, interact jump. Or look up, interact jump. The best thing about doing this out of a jump uh, from the ground is that we can tap strafe after it. Let me tell you why we're able to tap strafe after ghost jumping. In Apex Legends, whenever we jump, we have 0.5 seconds lurch time. And interacting a zipline doesn't kill this lurch time. So we basically jump off the ground and immediately interact the zipline. And then get off the zipline. We're doing it too fast, so even after getting off the zipline, we're still able to use the 0.5 second lurch time of the first jump. We can use this to push enemies very quickly. Or we can even combine it with a wall bounce. Also, instead of pushing enemies, we can also use ghost jumping to run away by changing our position very quickly. Let's say we're on the top floor and uh, an enemy just super jumps and then hits some successful shots on us and we just want to leave this spot as quickly as possible. In that situation, we can just do this. Or maybe we just hear some footsteps from this side. Maybe the door was opening or closing, we just heard some noise and uh, we just want to focus on this side but we're already having a fight over here so this means like when we're fighting like this we only have the speed of sideways strafing which is 173 which is not that much so without ghost jumping we have to do something like 
this and this is low this is low but this one this one is a beast or maybe you've heard somebody coming from the stairs ghost interactions get affected negatively by fatigue when we look all the way down so I'm in the range of the zipline hitbox right now and uh, when I turn around and then when I jump normally without fatigue I can see the prompt appear because I have no fatigue but when I have fatigue I cannot see it there is no prompt when we look up we don't have this issue you see the prompt you don't see the prompt you see the prompt so we have to play around this fatigue issue especially after zipline dancing if you if you want to uh, ghost jump afterwards so let's say we super jump and then crouch off the zipline whenever we crouch off we're kind of falling down um, on the ground okay so landing on the ground hitting the ground means we're getting fatigue so basically whenever we crouch off the zipline we have to look up but when we jump off the zipline we get so much farther away as you can see I landed on this spot um, I get the fatigue but I'm getting the fatigue here on this spot after landing on the ground which means along this whole way uh, especially on this specific spot which is where we ghost jump from we're still in the air so when we're in the air we don't have fatigue if we don't have fatigue then there's no issue you can just look down this rule of looking up whenever we have fatigue only applies to this specific spot in this building on this specific spot we have a different thing we need to be careful about so when we're in the air which means we don't have fatigue yet because we didn't land on the ground yet when we look all the way up we only see the interact prompt being visible for a limited time it's disappearing and just coming back so whenever we don't have fatigue we have to look all the way down and whenever we have fatigue we have to look all the way up if you memorize these rules whenever you crouch off it's just going to be a reflex for you to uh, look up you know or whenever you jump off you're just gonna look down automatically it's because you'll just get used to it remember that I said whenever we ghost jump from the ground we can always tap strafe this is the same for crouching off the zipline it's because like I said before um, crouching off the zipline makes us land on this spot which is the ground after landing on the ground if we do a ghost jump we will be able to tap strafe like this we can also do a wall jump after the tap strafe and go to lower floors or even combine it with mental jump combos Besides all the combos I've mentioned we can do with ghost jumping, we also have two advantages. First one is that we cannot dead slide. It's because we're simply just in the air. You know, like what's light? Which light, you know? <laughs> so let's say we're fighting here and then we hear this guy and uh, they're about to shoot us and we just want to leave here or like, like change our position uh, towards this door so it's going to be like so when it comes to dead sliding ghost jumping is so much better than slide jumping because sometimes we want to slide jump but it ends up with dead sliding because we get shot by the enemy and the second one is that when we ghost jump we're completely in the air until we land on this spot 
and uh, when we land on the spot we're already like at the corner and uh, we're about to turn the corner and just fight you know we're sliding in like it's already too late for our enemy to react to it uh, too fast like we're just going to surprise them if they rely on audio in apex legends which is a big mistake you know <laughs> so uh, we can just do this you know after some practice, you can really get consistent at ghost jumping. And the true potential of this movement tag is when you combine it with other movement tags. Alright, thank you for watching. I end this video here. Have a good one. Cheers.